Welcome, it's Claudio, again, and it's time for some Italian. Greetings and salutations. So today we're going to have a look at how to greet people and be a bit more polite, okay? So we've already learned how to, to say hi or goodbye, and that's ciao, ciao, okay? So the sound cha, the sound ch, like in chair, a and oh ciao so when it comes to be a little bit more polite in italian um we substitute ciao with salve salve not too difficult to pronounce and it's a very short word so it shouldn't cause you any trouble you should learn this because it's a very polite version of ciao which is used among adults and people that don't know each other so if it's the first time for you to have a chat with somebody i don't know a police officer or a friend um well a guy who you've just met um you want to use salve um per favore this is the translation of please so this is the translation of the word please for instance if you want to say, if you were in the restaurant and you want to order a pizza, you already know how to pronounce pizza, and that is pizza, pizza. And we know that it's a feminine word, it ends in A, therefore it's feminine. So one pizza would be una pizza. Why una? Well, the reason why we put una is because pizza is a feminine word and it's singular therefore we know that the right indefinite article for pizza is una if you don't know this then go back and watch the indefinite articles video una pizza this means one pizza now saying to a bartender or a waitress one pizza isn't polite you're going to be asked a question at the very best. So what we want to say to order a pizza in a restaurant is Una pizza, per favore. So, one pizza, please. This is actually very common, very polite and completely correct. And you'll hear this a lot anyway in restaurants and in pizzerie. Pizzeria is a place, it's basically a restaurant that sells pizza and that's it. It's not fast food, so you, you're meant to sit there, you, you get your table and there's going to be a huge amount of pizzas to, to choose from. Okay, So they have a huge selection and they have special ovens just for pizzas, just for baking pizzas. So this is very common. It's a particular type of restaurant. And of course you'll hear this a lot. Okay. What if it was two pizzas, please? Then we would have to change the ending of the word pizza to make it plural. And because the word is feminine, we would put E. And this would change. It would become delle, delle pizze, per favore. Now, this doesn't make much sense because it, it's literally, it means some pizzas, please. Okay. So, we would have to change something. We would have to put like due, which means two, for instance. Uh, but any number other than one and 1 1.5 would be good. Okay? Arrivederci. Arrivederci. This is difficult to pronounce if you can't trill your tongue yet. But don't worry, that will come later. Um, this is very common. It means see you later. And of course, it's more polite than ciao. You can still use ciao to say goodbye to someone. But I think if we want to be more polite and we, if we speak to somebody we don't know, we want to stop using ciao and start using salve and arrivederci. You can actually use salve even when you're leaving. So it's also a way 
of saying see you later. So you can either use salve or arrivederci. Arrivederci literally means I will see you soon. I will see you again. So it's it's nice. If you want to make it more polite, you can also say arrivederci. Arrivederla. If you're talking to just one single person and you want to be very, very polite. Um, but you don't need to know this. You need to know this, though. And then here we have the Italian translation for uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And basically, buon means good. Buona is the feminine version of the same of the same adjective and notte means night and it's feminine although it behaves very strangely as you can see it ends in e and not in a um, but this is an irregular word it's still feminine uh, the word evening sera means well, it means evening. And if you want to make it a little bit more polite, you add ta. So instead of buona sera, you can say buona serata. But you don't have to. It's up to you. Whatever sounds best in your opinion, learn that one. Pomeriggio means afternoon. And the word giorno literally means day. But when you say buongiorno, you basically mean good morning. Or have a good day. So you say it in the morning. Okay. Guys, this was meant to be a really quick video with some conversational Italian that you might find useful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you... I don't know. I just hope. I'm full of hope. I will see you guys in the next video.